Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, wild cats. Let's see who's here to help us with our Wildcat student expectations. Good morning, Wildcats. This is Mrs. Sadovsky. Please remember our student expectations at home and at school. Wildcats are kind, respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Hope to see you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Words of Wisdom! Today, we have some words of wisdom from VDM, and they say, Never compare yourself. It's just a waste of energy. You are unique, and you have your own gifts to offer the world. Those are great words of wisdom, VD. Thank you for sharing them. Remember, you can submit words of wisdom by completing the form that's located in the description of this video. It's your birthday. Everybody see Muller Dina. Good morning. Today I'm going to read you a story entitled The Dot. And while I'm reading it, I want you to think about the power of creativity and imagination. So here we go. Hope you enjoy. The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Our class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up her paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper towards Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked up, walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot. She had drawn her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm. I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted. A red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with yellow, she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with the bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Sign it. So today, think about the power of creativity and your imagination. Hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. Have a great day. Do great things. See you soon. Please stay tuned for a special message from Mrs. Fudin regarding Earth Day. Good morning, Ivy Hall. Did you know that today is Earth Day? Earth Day is celebrating its 50th anniversary today. Earth Day was started in 1970, and it was a way that the United States could focus on the environment. Now, Earth Day is celebrated globally in 193 different countries. 
there are many ways that we can go ahead and help the environment. And while you're at home, you can probably think of a bunch of things that you can do. One thing we can do is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Hey, if there's something that you can recycle, do it. If there are things you don't need to throw away, don't. Another thing we can do is to go ahead and conserve water. This is really important. While you're brushing your teeth, try turning off the water. It's kind of wasteful when you just let the water run. You can shop wisely. That means when you go to the store, see if you can find bigger packages of things and then portion it off into smaller containers. Use long-lasting light bulbs. These kind, they, send, they tend to last a lot longer and they don't need to be replaced as often. Plant a tree, plant some flowers, plant a garden. Think about different things that you can plant to help our environment. You can bike more and drive less. That's really a good idea for now. Boys and girls, there are many things that you can do, but let's celebrate the Earth. Happy Earth Day!